Hey everyone, I'm Devin Schneider, the design lead for Local Line 2.0. Um, today we're going to be go running you through some of the things we're excited about the new product and how those things are going to help you save time and grow your business. So we're building a new product um, and how do we get here? Uh, most of it was from your feedback. Our team went through hundreds of feature requests and improvement ideas gathered over the years and we decided that a new update was not enough to build you the best tool we possibly could. So we decided to build a new one. Um, we took as much of your feedback into account when creating the new app. So far, uh, 2.0 includes everything you like about Local Line, over 80 new features, and almost 600 improvements to the user experience and UI. 2.0 represents the next stage in growth for Local Line, and you will be seeing much more from us soon. The main thing we revisited with 2.0 was the workflows. Based on your feedback, all of the tasks you complete on a daily basis have been improved with the goal of reducing opportunity for errors and the amount of work it takes to get them done. One of the metrics we use to track performance is clicks required to complete a common task. We've also added bulk edits, item duplication, more inline editing options to help you get your work done faster. So next up with the workflows, we've scoured the backlog to find some of the most common workarounds and added new features to build better solutions for those right into the app. So more support for things like variable weight products, more storefront display options, giving you complete control over the order in which your products and categories are displayed to your customer and how you represent your brand. We've also added more custom settings you can apply on a per order basis. So things like changing tax rates, order level discounts, and saving your customers credit cards uh, so you can charge them again in the future. There's lots more that you'll be seeing from the team um, and they will run you through these in the different sections of this presentation. One of the major themes we've revisited with our workflows is we've added more flexibility to customize the app to fit your needs. In our research, we found that there's no one size fits all solution for the diverse group of farmers we build our tools for. We've designed 2.0 with more optional features and flexibility to give you control over how you'd like to run your business. In this presentation, many of the new features you will see are optional. You can pick and choose the features you want to use to fit your ideal workflow and add or take away from them as you grow or your business changes. The next major theme that we revisited with 2.0 was improving the interface. So first and foremost, it should be more intuitive and easy to use. We've gone all the way down to the details with the new platform and revisited all of our UI components and interaction patterns. Everything has been drastically improved and easier to use more natural and intuitive, and feel more familiar to the apps you use on a daily basis. Along with the revised UI, we've also revisited how the app works on mobile. Each page is easier to use on your phone and tablet. We'll be continuously updating the mobile experience, making it more custom for quick operation on mobile devices as we learn how you use the app. An example here, we are looking at the log order screen on 2.0. Um, there's a bunch of improvements here, which you'll see in the rest of this presentation, but I'll also show you how it'll appear on mobile. So going from left to right here is scrolling down your phone. Um, you can see that we've got custom UI com components, so everything's accessible and easy to use right from your thumb on your phone. Um, you can use the app whether you're in the field or you're in your office, it shouldn't feel any different. And along with all the changes that I just spoke about, we've beautified the app and we've made it more brandable. So I'll just run you through an example here so you can see what I mean. Here we're looking at the old order, order screen in 1.0. Um, you can see it's got a pretty big forehead up top. Um, most of the operations you need to run the app take up most of the screen and you can't see as, as much of your data. And here's a new app. So we've got more calmer and descriptive colors. Um, we've decluttered things and tidied up. All those heavy interactions that were on the forehead of the last screen have been condensed down and you can see much more of the information that's important to you now. Um, We've also created some better visual hierarchy to guide your eye to where it needs to go. So in the last screen, your eye tended to go to the header. Now it goes to the status um, on our orders table. So we've got new statuses that show you what needs your attention with each order. You can at a glance quickly see what needs to be done, what's missing, what the payment status is, what the fulfillment status is, and so on. And the last major theme we revisited with 2.0 was performance. So we've re rewritten our code to be more flexible using the best technologies in the industry. What that means to you is you will find faster load times, you'll be able to run more complex operations and calculations, and there will be fewer bugs. Ultimately, this will allow us to deliver more features and updates faster. 